Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. After that last shift, James, where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. Gets it over to Jarvis. Carolina's on the attack. Quick pass to DeBrusque. Great stick work with the steal. They've created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing to attack and find the back of the net again. Lusa quickly over to Kotkaniemi. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Dubé's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Anderson. Chance in front. Picked off in front. Slides the puck over. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Poked away by Orla. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Moves it to Tube. And that's intercepted by Kotkaniemi. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. 
but he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Sends the pass in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Puck scooped up by Natchez. Moves it on over to Svechnikov. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Boston's got it behind the net. Sends it quickly to Kubelik. Tries to get it over to Ajo. The Bruins grab possession of the puck. Penalty coming up here. The Hurricanes are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. They had success earlier in the overload, James, and I expect that they'll run it again. They're working off one side of the ice. They know that they might have to be heavy and hard on the wall for the cycle. It's about quick puck movement to back off the coverage right away and look for your opportunity to take it to the net. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Takes a shot, blocked in front. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. Slavin's lugging the puck. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, the game is played at such fast rate that sometimes you want to slow your opponent down, but if you take too much ice, it's going to be an interference call. Takes the puck at the point. Stopped by the goaltender. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Pasternak's got it across the line. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Sends it down low. Zaka has been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. Makes a move in front. Fantastic save. Puck clear from the defensive end. The Bruins have it against the wall. And he takes the pass. Misses a golden opportunity there. The Bruins can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And as he skates back out onto the ice, it's a brief power play. They'll have to go to work here. Rashawn's penalty is almost expired. Feeds the puck to Haig. Carolina's power play fails to deliver a goal. They still trail by one. Coach won't be happy with that. James didn't make the PK unit move at all. You have to create some motion, make adjustments based on what they're doing, and this power play unit didn't do any of it. Here in the late goings of the period, Boston's up one set. Carolina's got it in the defensive zone. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick feed to Burns. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Play whistle, dead penalty coming up. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. Carolina's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Looking to clear the defensive zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Quick feed to Punty. Handles the pass from the right side. And now he moves it to Tara Vinen. Just got enough of that one to keep it out. The Bruins have played from the defensive zone. Moves the puck to Carlo. Looking for space inside the D zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Looks to pass it to McAvoy. Absolutely no fear to get in front of the slap shot. Here's a short pass to Burns. The Hurricanes carry it along the wall. How did he stop that one? Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Good hit to pump him off the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And we're going to face off after the offside call. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. They can't convert on the power play. They still trail in this one. 
Well, that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play. Now down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some energy. That one was deflating. Here in the late going of the frame, Boston's ahead, 1-0. Nietzsche's wins it in the offensive zone. Ozone face-off, James. Critical time to gain possession with that clean win. And the entire group, they get that puck moving around and a real opportunity on net. He fires it on net. And he's able to handle that one. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the horn ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you. And we'll be back for period number two in a moment. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Both goaltenders are the stars in this one, James. End-to-end -end action and multitude of chances on both sides. I mean, this has been an incredible game to watch. I'm surprised it's only 1-0. Quick pass to Saka. Along the half wall with the puck. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Bruins lead it 1-0. Marchand's got it against the boards. Poked away. Good read on the play there by the keeper. Moves it quickly over to Slavin. Picked up along the boards by Svechnikov. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Pasternak gained the line and on the attack. And that's deflected off someone in front. Grabbed along the board by Winberg. And knocks it down out of midair. Slides the pass over to Burns. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Moves it to McAvoy. Takes the pass. A centering chance! Breaks it off the post! Anderson's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Shot. The Hurricanes have it now. Quick feed to Kotkaniemi. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Carlos taking it from his own end. Here's a chance, and he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Taken along the wall by Kubalik. Great save from in tight. Taken by Carlo. Into the corner of the attacking area. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. The Bruins get a hold of the puck. Quick feed down low. And he's got the answer for that one. Picked off by Burns. Jostled off the puck. Gains the zone along the right wall. The Bruins have the puck now. Boston's got it in their own zone. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Too much traffic in the lane. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Handles the pass. Poked away in the neutral zone by Zadorov. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Boquist. And that's picked off by Bunting. Plays the puck up ahead. Centering pass, and that's stopped. Boston's got possession of the puck. And that goes off the post and out. Now a quick pass to Fast. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's a short pass, and no defenders back. Oh, and a great defensive play ends that rush. Ajo's moving the puck through his own zone. 
The Hurricanes played along the wing. Slides the puck down low. Quick pass to Ajo. Sends a pass over. Just gets enough to keep it out. Skates across the blue line. Moves the puck down low. Stopped by the goaltender. Hammers a shot. There's another consecutive save. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Blocker save and a good one by Anderson. Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the hottie. It's players like these that know how to lead the charge and really change any momentum swing in the game. I mean, he doesn't need much time or space. He knows how to score. It's the reason why he's their leading scorer. The Bruins have gone up by two here in the late stages of period number two, and they have just played a complete game tonight here, Cheryl. Yeah, I mean, they've been all over the ice, and just look at the analytics, look at the numbers. They have owned possession time, James. They've been first to it, they've dingled, they've dangled with it, and they've made things happen with their opportunities. Carolina's looking to break out. Slides the puck across to Carter. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to DeBrusk. Fires it! Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out! Anderson's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. His save percentage is crazy. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going north. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Ooh. Boston's got it in their own zone. Carlos got the puck. He scores! Off the defender and into the net! Well, this is an unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set to scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Bruins come up with a clutch goal here late in the second period, and it is now 3-0. Well, there's a different mindset around three versus two, James. they got to make sure that they don't take the foot off the gas, continue to stay aggressive, and push. Feeds the puck over to White. The Bruins played along the boards. Oh, and it completely muffs the shot. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Hank's been nabbed for tripping. Boston's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. Carolina's won the opening faceoff as their power play continues. Moves it to Burns. Here's a shot. Denies him. From the blue line, they take control of it. Great pressure with the stick. Dished on over to Carlo. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. And now he tries to get it across to Marchand. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, what a great save by Anderson. And he slides it quickly to Ajo. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. And somehow he hangs on. Knocked away. Quick feed to Natchez. Oh, a close save! Olmark's a great goaltender who understands where the threats are. And this one's in the slot area, and he manages to get to position and make the save. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Denied by the goaltender. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Glove save! Oh, quick reflexes on the play! Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone! Look at this! They've got the cycle for the victory! Scores! Rips it off the pipe and he did it! Wow! He almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it says, but this one goes in. The key factor on this goal is having the patience 
to wait for Netfront presence to take away the eyes of the goaltender who can't see it or track it. Then that shot comes with confidence, makes its way to traffic to the back of the net. The Hurricanes haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to claw back from this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. They're going to find a way to get some chances. Winberg's going to play it against the half wall. And that's a great heads-up play by Burns. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And he was ready for that save. Scooped up along the wall by Carlo. Here's a shot, and he shuts the ball on that. Great reflexes, another save. Oh, man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Moves around along the half wall. Big time stop. Anderson's going to hang on for a whistle. Slavin's a solid defender when he's the last man back in those one-on-one -on -one situations, guys. That's his shutdown zone ability, and he can really calm down those scary moments for his squad. The Hurricanes come up with the defensive zone draw. Burns plays it down and tries to make a diagonal pass to Tara Vinen. And that's knocked away by McAvoy. Hammers a shot. There's a stop with the blocker by Olmark. The Bruins pick up steam and are on the attack. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Bruins have it from the corner. Carolina's got the puck behind the net. Boston's got the puck. Quick snap, and he scores. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Boston's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Oh, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Lindholm's got it in the defensive end. Shot! And he gets in front of that rocket! That knocks him off the puck. Scores! Make it 49 on the season! And he's one away from the magic number of 50! Oh, we've seen his skill set all year around the net, James. His eyes are on the prize. Number 50, I say he does it. Control the puck. Quick shot! That's blocked by Anderson. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Columbus is on the schedule next, and they will provide a stiff competition here as these two teams get set to collide. Boston's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Winberg. 
pushes it across to Aho. Across the line along the left wall. And now it's grabbed by Chatfield. Inside his own end moves the puck. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Aho. Grabbed along the boards by Butcher. Oh, what a save in front! Moves it over to Kubelik. The Bruins take it along the wall. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Carlin Bade is standing by with her answer to the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Carlin? Pasternak's a great player when he gets engaged, and he has been that tonight for the offensive side of this game. I've been impressed with his performance. Moves it quickly over to Kubali. Can't pull the trigger. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Butcher. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Intercepted at center by Kubali. He got all of that one. Pass it through. And the fans clearly not happy what they 